what would a day be without a visit from the great Dr. G? Um, someone was nice enough to tell me recently that I was their favorite part of the majority report with the obvious exception of Dr. G, who was their favorite part of the majority report. Um, basically, Dr. G is a massive alpha male. You can see that in the sort of <laughs> simian structure of his face. And he is a... A brilliant and powerful man. And, you know, this clip we're about to play is interesting because I think that when Donald Trump announced during his very presidential and very sober uh, joint address to Congress that they were going to create a specific department that monitored the crimes of immigrants, uh, and of course, as Peter Beinart and many others pointed out, that there was uh, uh, the, the sort of uh, the certainly policies and ideas very analogous to that of Nazi Germany, of uh, monitoring the specific crimes of specific groups of people. Uh, and, and Dr. G, in this question, he really gets to the heart of two of his great passions, which is xenophobia, serving his new master, and then I think his deep core psychological drive, which is, dear old dad, making him proud with defeating the Jews and other undesirables. So here he is speaking with Dom Giordano, and he wants to know, this uh, host Dom Giordano, why Democrats would have a problem with the voice program, you know, the Nazi-esque, specifically monitor crimes of undocumented people program. Why would they have a problem with that? And Dr. G is just, for once, a man who's so worldly and such a terrorism expert, he's pretty much just flummoxed. He doesn't even know how to respond to this. I heard maybe a couple times, but almost hissing or something like that, is when President Trump said... I am so concerned about the victims of people that are here illegally that I've told them to start a subset, an office of this. How is that idea, monitoring that and staying on top of it, to get real information and real pushback on that, that was the, seemed to me to be the most objectionable to Democrats last night? Um, do I have to comment on that? I mean, it was so disgusting. We, we, we want to help the victims the victims of crime, the victims of people who have already broken the law by being here. If you object to that, you are in favor of pain, in favor of tragedy, and in favor of chaos. And that is un-American. Absolutely. If you oppose that, then you would be the type of person who would monitor video games on behalf of feminist SJW. I am so disgusted. I'm vomiting all over my Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> I was so profoundly disturbed. Disturbed when I saw those SJW beta cocks not applauding at the voice, voice program that I vomited all over a gold-encrusted seal made from melted teeth of former occupants of Auschwitz that I keep in my memorabilia jar in my home in Virginia. Ha! Huh? It could not have been more disgusting. Some responded to Dad, old dad's plan to monitor Jewish shops in Hungary by accusing him of Nazi sympathies. Boy, it just made me absolutely sick to my stomach. Dr. G, please come on the show. Please. And by the way, if you're a Sam Harris fan, there is no substantive difference. Uh, between his views on terrorism and Sam Harris's, except actually Dr. G probably has a little bit better understanding of, like, you know, I don't know, the demographics of the Middle East and Sam Harris. Uh, I did see Sam Harris, though, in good news. Sam Harris is equal is eager for a, a open uh, dialogue with Charles Murray. 
So I look forward to the same uh, 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 morons who hate Muslims who tweet at me incessantly um, now to get on a good new race science kick. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true. Thank <laughs> you.